Alright, what is up? We actually got lucky. Ooh, the Brett Twitch is a three bar, but you have seven out of eight players, so screw that. So we be here. Uh, uh oh. How do I, uh. How do I, uh. What is happening? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Is that what I do? So, uh, as we can see, this is my first foray into the online world of Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma, and we, I honestly, I don't understand what's supposed to be going down here, like, am I, let's hit X, okay, we don't give a shit about decode. I say X, but that's actually square, I'm, I'm operating right now on, uh, Xbox Live button, so let's check this out, triangle does jack shit. Circle, of course, is going to take us out, so I assume I just did the right thing there. Right? Like... So this person is clearly not here and not playing, and you're a piece of shit, homie. I think? Maybe? Like... I know. What is... Let's hit every button. Okay, that did jack shit. That did nothing. Nope, wait, no, nope, chat. Don't give a shit about chat. This button did nothing. That's, those do the same, okay, those do buttons do the same thing. The shoulder buttons do the same thing. So that's, yeah. Fucker. <laughs> Damn it. I guess we are going to the Brett Twitch. Let's just check out the rest of them. Oh, wait, that was probably the West Coast one. Yeah, we're going to the Brett Twitch. Five. Oh, wait, this was the homie. I don't understand what I'm doing. I really don't. Like, am I just... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out, apparently. I, what the hell is this lobby? I've never seen a lobby like this before in my life. Regardless! So we're here, we're online. I told you, you know, I went to the offline stuff. I'm still, obviously, not some fucking amazing top-tier player yet. But I'm a lot better than I was last week. Um... I'm good. The thing is, is basically, you know, I've already said it multiple times. My movement is not as good as it should be, and that gets me into a lot of trouble. Where, like, you know, like, I try to do a backdash, because Asriel's backdash is, oh my god, so good. His front dash is good, too. They're both good, but his backdash is better. Um, and so a lot of times I try to do a backdash, and I'm expecting it to come out faster than, I, than, my, than my fingers can currently make it happen. And because of that, I end up eating a hit for it, and that's, I actually lost... I actually lost both of my matches in turn. I went 0-2 in tournament, which, like, see, we'll all get into that in a second. And it was basically because of, the because of my execution. They both came down. You know, it was 1-1. We both had a round. It literally came down to the last match of the, la or the last round of the last match in both games that I lost. And both times, I lost it because of my execution. Uh, I played 2 gigabyte combo first, who was, who was switched to Tarumi. And I was doing very well against him. You know, I was kind of... Tarumi's offense is very strong, and 2 gigabytes combo is... His reads on me were very good. Oh, shit, that was actually cool. I've never seen that confirmed before. Um... That's what I'm trying to say now. All right, we were on 2 gig... That move right there, oh my god, it's so good. It's low... That move is low and vulnerable, and throw in vulnerable, and it's safe on block. So it's basically throw bait. It's essentially, you know, that's, like, a lot of people are saying, you know, Tarumi's not very good because the character has no mix-up. That's bullshit. He doesn't have strong high-low mix-up or strong cross-up mix-up. That's very true. He has very strong frame traps and either 50-50 throw or hit you mix-up. So, like, he doesn't have, you know, strong, traditional, easily noticeable mix-up, but he still has it. And he is a very strong character, so do not listen to anybody that is telling you that Tarumi is a bad character because his damage sucks or because he doesn't have any mix-up because they're wrong. I'm just telling you right now, they wrong. They don't know what the fuck they talk about. Jin is a very strong character. Very strong character. Um. So anyway, two goodbye combo. What it came down to was basically I tried to backdash out of his pressure because Tarumi has very good pressure, very safe pressure. There's really no moments where like I have an opening to do something. So I tried to backdash out of the pressure. I did not get the backdash, and I got my ass blown up instead, and it made me sad. So I lost because of that. And then I lost my second match against a very good Izayoi player, 
I had never played Izayoi before, but he had also never played an Azriel before, so we both kind of had that, like, um... Dick. We both had that, you know, char lack of character knowledge going, so that kind of evened itself out. And I ended up losing because he kept dashing in on using Izayoi's, whatever her, like, powered-up mode is. Kept using her dash, where she pretty much air dashes at you. Can't block out of it. So I was waiting for that, you know, I was thinking I had good spacing enough time where he would have to, you know, commit to it, where I could reversal him. And that's what I tried to do. I tried to reversal him. I got my ass blown up instead. Fuck you, sweatshirt. Stay where you're supposed to go. Don't fall off. I got blown up instead. I got a front dash, and I dashed right into the attack, and I died. Because I tried to, uh, I tried to hit him with Asriel's, uh, I should learn the move names, but it's his, uh, double quarter circle 4D move. That one, where, you know, he pulls it back, charges up, and then swings forward crazy fast. It's very good as, like, a whiff punisher, or, uh, like, to catch dashes and stuff like that. It's very good for that, but it's not invincible at all either, so you have to be careful when you use it. But that, I lost, but again, I lost because of my execution. So I need to work on my execution, but I'm very good at picking up, like, basic stuff. I'm good, I already have good setups. I need to stop using 6D and 3D so often, because both of those moves... Like, a lot of people think they're strong because they're safe on block. A lot of people, like, a lot of the moves in this game, a lot of people think are good because, just because they're safe on block. But what they don't realize is, like, especially with 6D and 3D, there is no move that you can throw out before that that you cannot hit him out of his little step forward shit. Like, there's all the time in the world to hit him with, like, a 5A or a 2A or something and get a counter hit combo out of it. So you have to be careful with your 6D and your 3D. You have to make them respect you first. A fail? Not really. But yeah, so like I'm good with my setups. I ha and I am good with all like the simple combos with Azrael. Like I drop them occasionally, every once in a while, just because you know I don't. I'm not 100% solidified on everything. But I have the basics down. And now I need to, uh, expect- what? What the f- that is so wrong! This might not actually kill him, this doesn't do a lot of damage. But that was still stupid. Like, he missed the move, and overdrive cancelled it, and still had enough time on the freeze to land? That makes me so mad. You have no idea, this dude has no idea how to play Kagura. Like, Kagura could kill off this. I'm pretty sure Kagura could kill off of that hit. Maybe it's laggy though too, that dude's bar did say zero, like everybody else is saying like twos and threes and this homie says zero. He's I think he kind of confirmed that too. And then did a half screen flash kick. <gasps> Ooh, these players. We are lying, yo. That was a little too high. That instant air dash needs to be more instant, homie. See, that would have been a prime time to do flash kick. That would have been prime time to do a combo. That would have been a prime time to punish. <laughs> Don't be too judgmental, it's still early in the game's life. But yeah, like basically, when I was at that tournament, you know, obviously there was a lot of casuals before because they were running a Guilty Gear tournament, and why does that work? That makes me so mad. That still might knock you, oh no, it did. Um, I was getting my ass kicked. I was getting my ass handed to me left and right in casuals beforehand because they were running a Guilty Gear tournament at the same time, so they ran a lot of the Guilty Gear tournament. Um up to like top four or something before they started the blaze blue tournament so we had a lot of time to play casuals and i was getting my ass handed to me like left and right and i was sitting there thinking like man am i really this bad like i thought i was improving i thought i was decent why can't i win like i'm barely scratching out rounds every once in a while against these people how am i this bad and then i found out i figured out like oh it has nothing like i'm mistaken here i'm looking at this the wrong way the only people i'm playing are basically two gigabyte combo uh apology man 
and Orion X Elite. Like, those three people I was basically just cycling through because they were the ones that were winning. That's like the elite of NorCal Blaze Blue. They're like the best of the best that have been in this game and been top tier in this game since CS. And so I'm like, okay, you know, like now it makes more sense. I don't feel so bad about myself anymore. And then obviously, like I said, I almost beat two gigabyte combo. That, you know, that match could, the tournament match could have gone either way. So I stopped feeling terribly for myself. I was like, okay, I'm not quite as bad as I thought, but still, I should have been winning. God damn it. A lot of them were close, too. Like, a lot of it is just my ex my lack of execution. Perfect execution. If everything went through how I wanted it to go through, if my, if my, if my fingers could translate what my brain was telling them to do 100% of the time, I would have won some. And so, obviously, you know, that's stuff I need to work on. I gotta work on my shitty-ass execution and make it not shitty. These people gotta work on these shitty's connections. But I just realized this dude, like, the Brett, I'm pretty sure this was the guy that was actually streaming that tournament. I think. I'm not positive. I know the dude's name was Brett. I don't know if this is the exact same thing. But either way, if this Jin's player's connection is as bad as it looks, and if all the, like, if he's making all the people with good connections run away, that's gonna make me sad if the connection really is bad, and that's gonna be our first online match. I mean, I've heard, like, even, um, in, like, zero bar connections, people still have playable connections, so we'll have to see. We'll have to test this for ourselves. Why did that clash? Well, that is his BDP. His BDP is not very good. Jin's so good. Jin is so good. That teabag in the throw. Shoutouts to that. I mean, it probably wasn't supposed to be a teabag, but still, that's what it was. But yeah, Jin, I think, is definitely, in my opinion, is definitely a contender for top five. Definitely a contender. He can possibly do that. I am not good enough, and I have not had enough experience with the game to know, like, exactly why. Is that, like, a downwards version of his arrow thing? Like, a down four version of it? I didn't know he had that. That's kind of cool. Um... But yeah, so far, basically everybody agrees on the top three that I've seen, being Talkaka, Lychee, and Valkenhayn. Like, those are the top three in the game. Everybody agrees with it, and I agree with it, because all three of those characters are silly. And then you have, um... Oh, it's my turn. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, I get it. I understand. Um, then after that, you basically have, in my opinion, this is my opinion, there's some, there's some conflicting opinions out there, but in my opinion, the other potential top fivers are Hakuman, uh, Relius, Asriel, Hazama, and Jin. Any of them can end up in the top five, potentially. Like, they're all very strong, and it's all possible for them to be up in that ass. But I definitely think, like, Hazuma, I think, is definitely, like, in there, no problem. Maybe not, but he's an extremely strong character. It's possible. And then the rest of them are all kind of just, like, in the same power range, in my opinion. Like, they could all, they're all basically kind of just, like, lumped together. This was a terrible stage to pick with these colors. <laughs> Should have picked the Halloween stage. Shit. Oh, shit, yeah, this connection sucks. Sorry! Oh my god. What the fuck? That sucks. What? Why did that hit? Is that an overhead? Like seriously, that overhead me? I'm honestly... I don't know why that hit me. That sucks. That hit, the hitbox on his DP sucks. Just to let y'all know. Okay, that definitely didn't. I tech that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, 
like I said, this connection is booty butt cheeks. We ain't got nothing good yet. See, like, look at that. It's, there ain't nothing good going on here. All right, so that beats his 60. Or two. What the fuck am I saying? 5C? Jesus fucking shit cock. Oh my god, damn. Jesus, fuck. Like, how does he do that in this lag? That's ridiculous that he can, like, time that that well in this lag. Nah, no DP. I tried, I tried, I'm trying, I'm trying to DP, like it's so obvious, he's doing the same exact block string every time, oh, I have a burst, I have a burst. Oh, that's right, that's unblockable, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot, I forgot, I don't remember shit, shout outs to that connection, let's go friend this dude. Yeah, that was utterly terrible. So shout out to my very first match online. Joining, I mean, how fucking unlucky is that? We join a lobby that's full. Completely full. There's like three three bars. The rest are twos. And then this one motherfucker has a shitty zero bar connection. And I end up, after how long was that? Like 14 minutes of waiting? Playing the shitty zero bar connection? Why didn't I leave? I wanted to leave. Why, why am I not gone? I want to go away. Let me go. No, I want to leave, you cunt. Ah. Seriously, though. After 14 minutes of waiting, we join a lobby full of eight people. One dude's a streamer. And the other six are all playing. There's five two or three bar connections. One goddamn zero bar connection. We play the zero bar connection? Give me a bad luck Brian meme right now. That is terrible. Let me out. Let me leave, you cut sucking dick faggot! Ah! This is why my stick is broken. It's not actually broken, but this is why my stick is going to be broken. Ugh. That makes me so sad. Like, if I can't even time a 2C into a 2B, we got issues. We got issues, unresolvable issues. And we just gotta leave. And it didn't even let me leave. Like, apparently, I, I must have hit the, uh... Please, that... No, that's not leave. That's leave. Yes. Yay! Hi! What up? Let me leave. Oh, no, I just, it does... It's one of those fucking assholes. One of those asshole-ish connection... Or thing... Option things. No! Fine, I'm creating my own lobby. I'm creating my own... Is this how you create your own lobby? That's not how you create your own lobby. Is this how you create your own lobby? That... I don't know what the fuck is going down here. Is this how you create your own lobby? Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh how do I ban unlimited... Uh-oh. <laughs> is this how you ban unlimited characters? I don't know what... I'm going I'm to I'm hope that that's how you ban unlimited characters. Nope. Shit. There's more options. God damn it. Fuck it. We're not banning unlimited characters. I don't know how. I can't read this shit. <laughs> but we're creating this motherfucking lobby. Oops. I need to stop hitting buttons. I'm turning on my computer because I didn't. I just got home from school, so I haven't turned on my computer yet. I have a page open uh, to a topic on Dust Loop that like details all at what every single option is on the menus. And so, if I had had that open, like a smart person might have had it open, I would have. Uh, I would have just used that to ban unlimited characters. But maybe we'll get our asses kicked by an unlimited character. I don't know if I've said this yet, but um. If y'all want to play me, do what this homie just did. Add me up, and if you see me on Blaze Blue, like if you see me on Netflix or something, chances are I'm gonna completely miss your message. Like usually when I'm on Netflix, I'm like doing work on my computer, I'm doing homework or something, and I just have that running in the background, so I will never see your message. But if you see me playing Blaze Blue, by all means, shoot me like an invite or a message or something. You better invite me because I will not know how to invite you. <laughs> Just letting you know, it'll probably take me like an hour and a half to figure out how to invite you, so just spare yourself the trouble, and if you want to play, invite me. But, if I do not reply to that at all, within probably like five minutes, like let's just say I just started a game, 
So just like give me give me a grace period of about five minutes. If I don't reply in that time, either by either joining the room or sending you a message like, yo, playing somebody else, give me some time and then I'll let you know you can invite me again or something like that, then chances are it's the same exact thing. I have, I'm doing something else. Like I'm not paying attention to my TV. I missed the message completely. I just didn't see it. So don't like take it as a personal affront. Like I'm saying, yo, fuck you. You don't deserve to play a celebrity like me. Obviously, I'm not saying that because I'm not a celebrity. Speaking of so I'll get that in a second. Um, chances are, again, I just completely missed the message. And this, that's going to happen. So if I completely miss the message, just basically assume that I'm busy anyway. Because I'll have, like, Blaze Blue running while I'm doing something else. And then I'll take a break from that something else to do, you know, like a round of arcade mode or a round of abyss mode or something while doing that. And so, chances are, again, I'm just not play I'm just not paying attention to the TV at that moment in time. Man, is this all we gonna get? Like, we had, we had so much potential. So much potential in that room. Hi, fuck! Fuck it, whatever, let's go. I don't even care, we need a match. We need something. Why is Firefox not firing up? God damn it. Hey, shout outs to this thing for like, Remembering who I'm playing. Didn't they do that in the last version too? I want to say they did that in the last version, but I can't remember. Firefox startup, you motherfucker! This is what I get for having like a five-year-old laptop that's still running Vista. I'm in the stone age of computers. Not necessarily that far back, but you know. Don't skip the intro. We have a zero bars, you mother. This person sucks. You suck, and I'm gonna see you. I did not see him. Yeah. He just left. See, if you hadn't skipped the intro, if you had let the, let the intro run and handle his business, that may not have been that bad. But instead, you had to skip the fucking intro, like the fucking online piece of cunt shit you are. And that's what you get. Don't skip the intro. Like, you would think after five years of Arc System Works online games, people would have learned. You got CT. You got CS. You got CS2. You got Extend. You got Persona 4 Arena. And now you got this damn game. That's seven games to learn. Let the intro handle his business. You don't go into Mickey D's and, like, shove the dude aside and be like, yo, give me a burger. You gotta let that person take your order before you hand the money and handle the transaction. Let this bad boy handle the transaction. Don't run in and be a bully. Why can I not exit out of this Firefox? What the, is my computer frozen? No, just this version of Firefox is frozen. Shockwave flash. And now it closed out all of Firefox? What the hell is, ugh. Flash player has not agreed with my computer at all in the last uh i want to say like year or so like i used to be able to watch you know youtube videos streams all that shit no problem whatsoever no not a single issue ever watching that kind of shit on flash player and now all of a sudden recently well not recently like, like i said the last year flash player has just like curb stomped my computer into submission it constantly forces, like, if I'm watching a stream, if that stream lasts, you know, if I watch that stream non-stop for, like, an hour, an hour and a half, my computer turns into a volcano. And then it's like, yo, fuck that. We too hot. We shutting down. We gotta rest. All right, well, since nobody's joining and now I finally got this shit open, let us create our own lobby. Let's see. Network, player match, create room. All right, so you are room name, room type, room capacity, friend invitations, connection speed, color restriction. There's a color restriction? What? Consecutive win limit, auto pass, skip time, text chat, rotation, number, round, unlimited characters is legitimately the very last option. Ballin'. We did it! We're not even here to see a match. Like, we're already at 25 minutes. All of that time... To play in two zero bar connections. That was terrible. 
I had, we had, I thought I had something going, because we had the West Coast room. I'm on the West Coast, and that was the West Coast room. That was my room. That was made for me. And the motherfucker was idle and not playing. So then we're like, okay, whatever, you know, shit happens. Let's hop on over to this other lobby, because it said there was a three-bar connection. Let's get in that ass. We got in that ass. Holy shit, it's a lobby full of two and three-bar connections? Let's go! This is my lucky day? And then the one motherfucker had to ruin everybody else's day with this shitty connection. Ugh. Seriously, we're not even gonna get another match now. Like, there's, I mean, there's too many other lobbies. That's the problem. There's too many other lobbies. People are gonna join other lobbies that already have multiple people in it against the one that only has one. Hey, what up, you fuck? Whatever. I don't even care. If you don't let the intro run, though, we're gonna ask, uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's playing lychee. Uh-oh. I don't know shit about lychee. There's no lychee players left in NorCal. Because Chun switched to Izioi. I don't know how long it's gonna last, though, because Izioi is not a very good character. And Lychee is a godlike character, so. Fetal movement? Kindle not the fire that you cannot extinguish? That's like a really run around. I, that, there's. <laughs> That's just an annoying way to put that phrase. Alright, let's see if my 5C beats what she does. It didn't beat that. <laughs> That was bad. Bad footsies, bad footsies! Whoops, my bad, wrong button. Well, what the hell? Motherfuck. I mean, this connection isn't as bad as the first one was, but it's still not exactly amazing. It's still, it's still not good enough to allow me to play how I want to play. But it's better than the first one was, so shout out to that. Did this motherfucker just try to DP me at the very beginning? God damn it, Asriel! Did you just mash? You motherfucker, how dare you mash 5A on me? I'm absorb that shit. Fuck you. Way too late. Ha! Oh fuck, she bounced higher than I expected. God damn it, quit mashing A on me. At least confirm it into a real combo. Speaking of confirming into real combos, wee fuck. Wee fuck. Wee fuck. What was that? What the hell? Where was my throw? You son of a bitch! So shout out to that gameplay! To that high quality! Top tier! Asriel stuff! Yay, I got a trophy for that terrible ass match! Probably winning my first match online. What we at now? 28, 40? That's it! Shout outs to Zero Bar Connections! Shout outs to me being a bad luck Brian! Shoutouts to everything. I didn't talk about the other thing I wanted to talk about. Combo Fiend fucking showed up to that tournament, and he played Bullet, and he played a really good Bullet. Like, damn, that dude bailed hella fast. Um, he played a really good Bullet. Like, you can tell he's just as a fighting game player, not as a Blaze Blue player, but as a fighting game player, he's just on another level than everybody else currently in our community. His footsies were fucking mind-bogglingly good. He made Bullet look like a top-tier character for that day. He really did because his footsies were so good. And it was fun, but I didn't get to meet him because the dude left. God damn it. <laughs> he lost his tournament match and I was running commentary for the stream at the time. So I'm like, okay, you know, I excuse myself. And I was like, I wanted to go talk to him, play him, get some good bullet experience. And he had left. I didn't, I didn't even get to introduce myself. Damn it. All right, peace out. Hopefully we can get better than this.